Okay. We're like live. Put the word out. Ah. Again. Experiment in YouTubiness. All right. Let me apply the fantastic Cremo shave cream. Oh, why? So I haven't finished listening to it yet, but I will. Uh, I'm working from home this morning and then going into the office uh, for the afternoon. We have a very busy afternoon. It's so busy that it actually terrifies me. Because, uh, you know, more is more. Anyway. No, I think I need to use the brush here. Get a real even spread of the shave cream. And I'm taking my sideburns down just a hair, not much. I'm not into big chops because I think I have a pretty small face. And uh, sideburns take up some valuable real estate on this small face. So I gotta be careful. All right. Um, so Kara Swisher this morning is talking about, uh, on Sway, her podcast for the New York Times, she's talking to Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, as you know. Um, I get the distinct impression that Steve, or Steve, excuse, that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Tim Cook is a pretty principled guy, you know? Um, I remember one time I was in, um... Columbus Circle, this is, I don't know, many years ago. It was before the holidays. It's like around Christmas time. And there's a Tourneau uh, watch shop at Columbus Circle. I think there still is. I don't know. I haven't been over there in a while. But um, I saw Tim Cook. Uh, I was unlocking my bike, and I saw him going into um, Tourneau presumably to buy a watch for someone as a gift. Anyway, I got home and I uh, thought, fuck it. I looked for his email address. I can't remember what it was. Like a corporate email address. I just want to email him and just see what happened. I just want to say, hey, uh, was too shy to say hello, but I saw you in Columbus Circle or whatever I said. And so I sent the email. And he got back to me. He replied. Tim Cook replied to my email. And he said, say hi next time. Thanks for saying hello, say hi next time or something. He's like super gracious. Could have been an assistant, I don't know. Uh, but his email was of a brevity that suggested it might have just been him. But I thought that was pretty cool. Even if it's not the actual CEO responding to the email, I think it's cool to sort of create the illusion that it might be. You know? At work, we do this thing. Uh, you know, when we get a new patient at work, it's like a new um, consultation. We send them a thank you letter. I sign it. A thank you letter, thanking them for joining the practice and welcoming, welcoming them aboard. Don't I mean Tim Apple? I don't know what that means. Uh, so, are there comments coming in here? I can't even tell. Uh, speaking of Apple, my Adam's Apple is always so tricky. No, I had four days where I was not, straight days where I was not in the office, so I didn't shave for four days, which is nice, but I enjoy shaving. Like, I'm not a beard person. I just let stubble grow on the weekend, give my face a break. Trump called him Tim Apple. I don't, yeah, never pay attention to anything Trump does. Are we 
even? I think so. Uh, I think it's time to change the blade. Although, since I use the blade five times, you know, one blade gets me through a week. I only shaved three days last week, so this should be okay. Good morning, new venue for the shave. Is this your first YouTube shave? Um, I don't think, maybe. I think so. I'd have to look at the, my channel and see the videos. I might have shaved on YouTube. I honestly don't remember. Mm. Now, even though I, sh I, uh, I have extremely sensitive skin, you know, I got to be very gentle and I use these, uh, this single blade safety razor as opposed to a cartridge with five blades on it. Um, I shave very gently and it works. And I don't know, like this is such a, I'm a very digital person. There is a shave post on YouTube. Yeah, I thought so. Um, even though I'm a very digital kind of a person, you know, I love my iPhone, my iPad, my MacBook, my earbuds and all that shit. I love tech. I mean, I think it's fun. And, uh, you know, I'm a generation Xer born in 1970. So I'm on that cusp of people who, you know, grew up with a rotary phone and, uh, and then cordless ones came along and all that. And now I've got this. So I've seen it all. I wasn't born a digital native. And I love technology. I think it's, I think advances in what we can do with our phones is pretty exciting. However, uh, you know, and I have a digital lighting system in my apartment. I can literally just say, you know, turn X, Y, or Z lights down and it does. And I like that. But there are certain things in my life that I like analogically, you know, like my, my coffee making. As many people know, it's with a Chemex. It's very analog. You know, the Chemex was designed in 1947 or something. Uh, and that's very analog. And also the way I shave is very old school. And uh, so in this very high tech world, there are some aspects of my life that I like to be very analog. And the way I shave is one of them. You know, and I give myself the time to uh, just enjoy it. It's a men's ritual, you know, and it's one of those rituals that separates us from creatures on four legs. Although I have no problem with a nicely maintained beard. It's not from me, though. Okay, I think we're good. I try to shave very close around the mouth because of, you know, I'm wearing a mask and I don't like it when, it's uncomfortable when I wear a mask and it snags, whether I'm wearing a surgical mask and N90, well, N95s are kind of a cone one, like those don't really touch the face, but I'll switch it up, you know, and sometimes I wear a mask that does touch this area and to have it snag on a whisker is kind of a pain, especially like when you're talking. So I think we're good. Let me pull up my close-up mirror. Wow, you hear that? That's a ship. That's a ship on the Hudson River. Oh no, I totally take that back. That's someone drilling something in a few. It sounded like a ship, a horn. Which I occasionally used to hear when I was living in a health kitchen. I lived near where the cruise ships docks and you would hear the ship's horns uh, as they were kind of backing up out of the dock. No, that's somebody drilling. <laughs> oh God, there I was thinking I was like giving you like a really cool Hudson River sound effect, but no, sorry. 
Psych. Anyway, uh, so that's it. Hopefully my sink is gonna drain today. Having some problems with a congested bathroom sink. And uh, that's it, look at that. Clean shave. Not bad. Um, I will take some quick comments here. What do we got? Let me dry my hands before I touch the electric thing. I'm so grateful for your videos. You make me want to move back. Oh, move back. Or right, let me put my glasses on. Give me a hot second, kids. Uh, so I can see what you guys are talking about. Uh, let's see. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, how often do I cut my hair? I have every couple months, I guess. Uh, although I'm growing it out. Um, you shave old school, yes. Um, Chemex is the best. I love Tech 2, but I dearly miss being able to slam the receiver down when I'm ticked off. Yeah, you can't really do that with a phone. It's like Tim, or, um, <coughs> Jim Gaffigan had a great joke about that in one of his shows. Uh, congrats on getting your second vaccine, Vanessa. That's wonderful. Um, Anne Marie Wood got a Chemex. Good for you. Great move. Enjoy it. Um, let's see. Broadway had a show. I think Broadway had, um, the pups are good. Thanks for asking, Kelly. Uh, I think Broadway, like Nathan Lane and, um, Saving Glover did a thing. I saw that Paul Rudd had tweeted about it. Um, yeah, Nathan Lane and Saving Glover did some kind of thing. Um, bring some live theater back. So, you know, we'll see. Anyway, I gotta jump, kids, because I gotta get in the shower, gotta clean up, and I gotta, like, even though I'm at home for the morning, I am sort of, I do have to be present for the job. So, um, I'm going to... Get into character, as it were. So let's see what we got here. Good morning, George. Greetings from Germany. Longtime fan. Thank you, Alexandra. Um, and I'm glad you enjoy the short videos on Twitter, Anne-Marie. More to come. Always, always. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Get your vaccine when you can. Post images, videos, whatever you can. When you get your vaccine, share that. Um, in the meantime, when you're vaccinated, let's stay masked. Remain socially distant and keep washing your hands. Cleanliness is next to godliness. So, um, uh, what is it? How do they put it? And I've, I've, I sort of stole this on a tweet once. Uh, mask up, back up, wash up. <laughs> so keep doing that, even though you're vaccinated. You know the rules. Let's well, not call them rules. Let's call them guidelines. And uh, there you go. All right, guys. Thank you.